What's up YouTube, Big Daddy here. It's time for another food review. Today we went to Panera Bread. That's right, I don't do Panera Bread all that often, but I'm kind of experimenting a little bit these days. Trying my hat at a hit, doing some kind of a vegetarian style diet, trying out some different vegetarian dishes, see if I like them, see if it's something that I might be interested in doing more of, maybe more videos on a vegetarian level. Um, you'd be surprised at some of the places that you can get vegetarian food, but I'm not going to go into that. Right now I want to go into this. Panera Bread Warm Grain Bowl. It's the Baja Warm Grain Bowl. You can get this with grilled chicken, but you can get also get it without grilled chicken. So I got this without the grilled chicken, so this is straight up vegetarian. There's quinoa in here. There is avocado, sour cream, feta cheese, uh, looks like corn, black beans. I think there might be some rice in here too. Or it could just be all quinoa. Let's open it up and check it out. We're gonna, got our fork. So it smells amazing. Oh, it smells good. Let's see, yeah, it looks like there's some rice in here too. You can see the see the rice on there, and the, and the avocado and the sour cream, chunks of tomato. Uh, they're I don't think they're black beans though. They're like uh, they almost look like like kidney beans, or black or chili beans kind of thing. Because uh, black beans are usually much darker, and the avocado. I I'm I have a weird issue with avocado. I don't like. I have a texture issue with it. I don't like eating avocado in big giant chunks. I either like it sliced or I like it mashed up like guacamole. So what I have to do usually with stuff like this is kind of either get a fork and just kind of mash up the pieces of avocado in there. Uh, let's see, how much was this? Because I always forget the price tell you guys the price and I apologize about that but my Baja grain bowl with no chicken nine dollars and 19 cents and that includes a fresh baguette of bread along with it so not too bad it's a pretty good size and I have a my Panera card so when I went to the window I showed him my Panera card and they gave me a buck off. So it was $8.19 for my lunch today. So now that I've mixed it up, you can see it looks a little more concentrated. Not as much chunks of avocado all over. Now it's all spread out. So here we go. This is the Panera Bread Baja Warm Grain Bowl. No chicken, all vegetarian. Let's do this. Mmm. Oh, that's good. You got hints of cilantro in there. Mm. It's got a nice little tang to it. The sour cream kind of cools it down. You got the protein from the beans. You also get the acidity and the flavor from the, the tomatoes. I think there's chunks. Oh yeah, there's chunks of onion. I can see onion in here too. Gives it a lot of flavor. You get the creaminess of of the avocado and the sour cream together. Kind of binds it all together nice. That is excellent. Wow. This is delicious. Really, really good. Mm. I 
what I'm going to do, because I know I haven't, on well, the feta cheese, that's it, too. The feta cheese comes through nice. You get that. Different types of flavor from the feta. Mm. Oh, yeah. So good. Really, really good. It's hearty. It's warm. That's amazing. Really, really. I'm not even... If you told me that this came with chicken, I would have been like, okay, cool, but it doesn't need it. It really doesn't. Mmm, so good. So, when I put this together on the My Panera app, which is really cool, by the way, you pick a menu item, and then you can modify the ingredients on it. And with this one, I removed the chicken. The calories on this, this entire bowl, 680 calories for the Baja warm grain bowl, um, no meat. Now there also is a Mediterranean warm grain bowl too, which it has some slightly different uh, items in it and it has olives and things like that. And I didn't really feel like having, olives. it has a tahini sauce as well. So I imagine it might be a little more spicy, um, but I didn't really feel like the olives. I don't really care for olives all that much. And pretty much everything in here sounded really good. The, the, the avocado, the sour cream, the feta cheese, it sounded really good to me. Mm. So good. You guys gotta go to Panera and try this out. I'm telling you, it's awesome. So would I order it again? Definitely. On a scale of one to 10, I'm giving this a 10 all day. I'm totally surprised that I like this as much as I do. Up until this point, I've been kind of a leaning to the side of eating only eating things with meat and, and the vegetarian lifestyle just seemed kind of eh to me. But I kind of I opened my mind a little bit to this idea of eating more plant-based items basically because I want to get healthier and there's a lot of options out there now that, that weren't there before and this uh, when I saw it on the website that you could order it without meat it sounded really good and it is excellent and there's a lot of different things you can do a lot of different recipes out there and things you can do that are just like this but if you don't want to cook head to Panera check this one out that's pretty much it if you guys like videos like this you want to see more vegetarian options on the channel you want to hear more about stuff like that leave me comments down below let me know what you think and uh, i'd be happy to do a little more about stuff like this so that's all i gotta say guys if you like this video give it a thumbs up hit subscribe tap the notifier bell so you know when the next video comes out remember before you take the first bite you gotta stuff it in your pile <clears throat> Delicious.